What's up you guys, this is AJ coming to you once again from the Thwip side and today I just wanted to make a quick video of my thoughts on Star Wars The High Republic Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule. Before we get into it I just want to say real quick that my nerdom, my fandom, the figures I collect, the games I play, the books I read are all about escapism to get away from the nuttiness of the real world from time to time. So I don't put politics into the channel. Um, I keep that all separate. My views are my views. Your People's other views are their views. So I never want this channel to have anything involved with real world politics. I believe that real world politics are starting to invade a lot of our hobbies and stuff. And it's starting to hurt people's ability to enjoy the hobbies. And it seems like the most hottest topic for a hobby is the Star Wars fandom being invaded by politics. So I appreciate no political posts in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts if on the book, but we'll get into that later. But just no politics. The Thwip side isn't about real world politics. Star Wars has enough crazy wonky fake politics. We don't need the real world crap invading our fandom. I, I just think it's a very negative thing. Just quickly going over the cover and see how the Jedi are in like the artwork is kind of like a classical type vibe they're trying to give off. It took me a while to get into it. I mean, I've seen this shot as many of you have plenty of times for the promotional art, but I'm kind of getting into it. It kind of I can kind of picture this like also as Jedi would be in the Old Republic. Going over the story itself, it's going to be spoiler free. I don't want to give anything away um, as much as possible. But it starts off with a hyperspace accident and the Jedi responding to the accident. And actually the Republic responding to the accident and working with the Jedi. But that's as much as I'll say about that. As... As for the book, like besides the story, how I thought about it, I feel like how I originally felt reading Aftermath is the Aftermath trilogy, book one. They, uh, meaning that there were so many different new characters, and the book was kind of after, like an Aftermath, and the same goes here. The new characters, and there was a lot going on with the characters, and they were in different spots. It took me a while to get into it. The same the same goes with this. But as the book went along, I started getting into the story in the middle of the book. It does get a little slow, but the end the back end of the book I think is really I I wouldn't say really great, but it was good and it kept me involved in the story and the ending got really interested, uh, interesting to me, and I am looking forward to the second book to see where they go with it. But like, a, like the Aftermath comparison is there. After I read book one of Aftermath, I was like, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot, but because the characters are new, so you got to get used to the new characters. But then there's so many, and they're doing different things, and that's kind of what we get here. There are three characters in this book that over the length of the whole book I became interested in so I'm hoping they get a bigger spotlight on the second book um, I have a feeling either way I think this book is going to be kind of like the Clone Wars series in a sense that meaning that for me I <laughs> unpopular opinion I'm sure but I I love the Clone Wars series but I liked I enjoyed Star Wars Rebels more because it had more focus on a central little group of characters and I really liked that Clone Wars was awesome it was sprawling but and of course the main focus of that was like Anakin and Obi-Wan and all that everybody knows but they focus they spread out the character focus as well which I liked I like that, but 
I just enjoy more tight-knit, focused group, one little group instead of this person's here, this that person's there. But I think I could see the, these books turning into that in a way. Um, I'm hoping that some of the side stories that we get and through the comics, maybe they they prevent it from being like as widespread and open and focused on some of these characters specifically. I am planning on picking up the comic to check that out and maybe some of the other books, maybe the young adult books look kind of maybe interesting. I'm maybe that, but I'm definitely going to pick up book two of this one when it comes out, I believe in June, but I would give it a shot. Um, you can't just go by just all the initial. There's a lot of hate. And like I said, we're, I'm keeping that out of here because it's all real world politics. And I don't want this channel to be about that. This is all escapism. It's all our hobbies. Why bring real world crap into our hobbies? But anyway, if, if you guys read the book, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think if you liked it or not either way is fine just remember what i've been saying about the politics but that's fine but i'd like to get into a discussion on what you guys think whether you liked it or not where you think it might go and yeah that's about it so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and hit that, well, flip that notification bell, and I'll catch you all guys again on the flip side.